Hello everybody and welcome again to this other part of the cockpit build and this time we're going to be working on oils and doing the weathering hopefully I won't cock this one up you can either do it one or two ways you can either throw it straight on there or you can do like a pin wash but here I'm just throwing it at it So you don't need to go as far as this, but that being said, I have, yeah, I've gone there. You could give it a pin wash, but I wanted to make this one really dirty and give it a filter at the same time. So what I'm doing here is cleaning up the surface and using neat white spirit and just stippling as I go along. If you put enough white spirit on there, you can make the oils flow into all the gaps and round all the instruments. Again, like the instrument panel, we're just stippling the surface on the cockpit tub to push the wash around into all the details. That being said, you can leave quite a lot if you want to make those dirtier areas where the crews don't generally touch. So another trick you can use is using the excess oil for streaking effects, especially on the side of the instrument panel. Just make sure that the brush is slightly wet with white spirit and then drag down and you should be fine. So to help the next stage of weathering to stick, I'm just applying a flat coat to the surface. So as you can see the two cockpits are slightly different, I've done one more weather than the other one. And you can see that the surface is a lot flatter than what it was before. Again as I said on the previous video, this is not what you think, it is plaster of Paris. So don't go and try and snort this stuff so you can mix this plaster of Paris into and I'm using AK interactive light dust deposits try and get that one out when you're pissed but you can mix it to whatever consistency you want and to whatever level of mud you want on your surface so all I'm doing here is just mixing to the right consistency and get into where I want to be so I've added more just to make it more thicker so it actually bulks up in the bottom of the cockpit. And here, if I actually get my arse into gear, I start putting it onto the rudder pedals. Oh, come on then, chop chop. So start stippling it on onto the rudder pedals, just making sure you're putting it where the crew or the pilot is going to be putting his feet. And you can build it to whatever high you want you can allow it to dry and then apply a second coat if you wish or change the colour even
So I'm applying some mud to the seat, thinking that the pilot's got to get in somehow, so he's going to stand on there. So the next option you've got is to put pigments in there. The only problem with pigments is you've got to try and fix it to the surface, but I don't think we're going to have that much of a problem, especially in the cockpit, because we're not going to touch it afterwards. So I'm just putting it onto the rudder pedal now and I'm not putting a lot on there, it's just to give it a slight effect of dirt. But what you can do is put more on, on the bottom of the rudder pedal where the heel is going to be, where most of the mud should collect. and then you can come in with different colours like I'm doing here. Now it's onto the fun bit, which took me ages, but he's putting the wiring it onto the back of the instrument panel. And what I messed up on here is using the wrong gauge of wire, as I found some later on, which is the usual case. But I'm applying it on with super glue and then cleaning up the excess with a cotton bud. And there we have it, that's what it looks like when it's not trimmed down. And there we have it trimmed down. So I've just cut it down with some sprue cutters. And this is the bit that took the longest. Putting the wires into a hole that I couldn't see. And trying to get it on camera is a nightmare. But when you've got one in, the rest kind of seem to follow that one in and you should be fine with that so with it all in now it's time to pick all the details out with white we're doing the same as what we did with the instrument panel as yellow is quite opaque And same with the white, we're just painting the yellow over the top using a very thin mix of paint. The reason why we paint thin paint is so that we can get into all the difficult areas. If you paint the side of the cockpit wall, it's thin so it's not going to be much of a problem. You can cover it up with some other RLM 66. So that's the end of this video for weathering. So I just want to say thank you for watching and I'll see you again next time.